11,000 men and women were employed at Tyndall Air Force Base prior to Hurricane Michael. But after sustaining significant damage from the storm, the future of the base and its employees is changing. News 13's Kelly Grossfield has the latest on Tyndall operations. Broken but rebuilding, Tyndall took a hard hit from Hurricane Michael, but personnel are working fast to restore the base to its former glory. 2,000 people are currently on the base. It's a mix of folks who have come in from out of town to help us out, as well as those who are permanently assigned to the uh, base. And all of us have one singular focus, and that's getting the base uh, ready and back on its feet as quickly as we can. 11,000 people were stationed at Tyndall prior to the storm, and we're told a significant number of those people will return, depending on their housing situations. About five people are estimated to relocate to other bases in the U.S., but there will be changes from the everyday routine. We're going to start uh, bringing folks back here on the 10th of December, so a lot of people are going to be coming back to work. Uh, not everyone's going to go back to the same offices th as they were in pre-storm, so we're going to be using a lot of temporary facilities. We may be asking people to combine into some of the facilities that fared a little better than others uh, on the base. Seven weeks after the storm, the damage on base still jaw-dropping. Piles of debris show the progress that's been made, but there's still plenty of work to be done. But repairing the base isn't the only priority. Trying to do the best we can to take care of all of our airmen and all of their families and make sure that we do our mission in a way that's compassionate and still uh, enables them to put their lives back together, just like our partners outside the gate. In Panama City, Kelly Grossfield, News 13. Today, Bay District school, school officials announced the reopening of Tyndall Elementary School. It will open Monday, December 10th. However, due to transportation constraints, the district will not provide busing for students going to Tyndall. For now, the school will be drop-off and pick-up only. District officials need parents to register their child at Tyndall if they plan to attend, so the district knows how many students are returning and how many new students are joining. The Tyndall students attending Callaway the past few weeks should have been sent home with registration papers. If you plan to go to Tyndall, head over to the school to pre-register. Tyndall is open from 9 a.m. to noon every day. The base is coming back. They're rebuilding, and we think opening the school is a very important step in that partnership uh, of support that we are coming back at Tyndall as well. District officials have considered turning Tyndall into a K-8 through grade school in the future to provide more options for base families, but they say it would only be possible if they receive additional funding. The grocery 